Mesdames et Messieurs, bonsoir. Je vous souhaite à tous le plus cordial bienvenue à cette soirée annuelle de présentation de la compétition régionale Interclub. My name is Alan White. I'm a member of the All Aims Photo Club, and it's my pleasure to be your master of ceremonies for tonight's event. As president of the hosting club this year, and on behalf of all members of the All Aims Club, it's my pleasure to welcome all members from the following four participating clubs. The All Aims Photo Club. Our coordinator is Linda Busk. The RA Photo Club, whose coordinator is Manfred Muller. The Club de Photographie Polarisée de Lutoué, dont la coordinatrice est Michelle Shipman. And finally, the Camera Club of Ottawa, their coordinator is Paul Dickey. I was asked to be Master of Ceremonies, but your organizers are the ones who've done all the work, and I ask you to extend a well-deserved thanks for making this competition and tonight's presentation possible. For the presentation tonight, we are using a YouTube link so that as many people as possible can participate. Although there is normally little interaction during the actual presentation, it is possible to post comments on the YouTube page if you wish to do so. Also, if you lose the connection, simply reload the page with the YouTube address that was provided and everything should be back to normal. Now, the person who made all this possible is John Elliott from the RA Photo Club. He's worked very hard on the technical side to make this evening a success. A special thanks to you, John, from all of us, and hopefully everything will go smoothly. So let me present the judges. As you will hear, three of the participating clubs provided a judge for the competition, and the hosting club provided a backup. The first judge is André Geik, selected by Le Club de Photographie Polarisée de Lutoué. André Geik's greatest passions are travel and photography. By 2012, his devotion to photography had him teaching and conducting workshops. To further extend his media style, he branched out into the field of food photography by taking a course in California. He earned his 2013 accreditation in the travel illustration category from the Canadian Professional Photographer of Canada, recognizing his keen attention to detail and for believing that in every travel image, there is a story to be told. Andre has been an active CAPA certified judge since 2020. Unfortunately, Andre cannot be available uh, with us tonight. Uh, so you will be hearing comments verbally only from our other two judges, but his comments will be available to you in written form after the event. Our second judge, Robert Laramé, was selected by the Camera Club of Ottawa. Robert Laramé's photography experience dates back to high school, with his education further expanded by studies at the School of Modern Photography and the School of Photographic Arts in Ottawa. He has taught photography at various organizations and clubs and has done private tutoring. He's a member of the RA Photo Club, Club de Photographie Polarisée de Routoué, and Le Pixeliste. He has been a CAPA certified judge since 2016. A third judge, Manfred Muller, was selected by the RA Photo Club. Manfred Muller is the past chair of the RA Photo Club and a master level photographer at the club. He's won a number of local, national and international awards for his work. He regularly exhibits his works at the Kanata Civic Art Gallery. He's a CAPA certified judge and sits on a number of photographic juries every year. Now, I've been asked to point out that when doing their evaluation, the judges did not see either the photographer's name or the club to which they belong. So now let's talk about the categories. There are two categories of images in this year's competition. The topic this year is urban life. This is an image that captures the spontaneous encounters of life in cities and towns. The second category is general, which allows any subject matter. So we received a total number of 136 photos broken down by club as follows. Camera Club of Ottawa, 51. Orleans Photo Club, 15. RA Club, 47. Club Polarisé, 23. Now a total of two images were disqualified because they did not meet the definition of urban life. So we have 134 images that will be presented tonight of which 96 are on topic images and 38 are in the general category. 
certificates will be awarded for the first, second, and third places in each category. And in addition, one entry will be selected as the best in show, which is determined based on individual entry scores. Now, during the presentation, I will mention the title of each photograph, the photographer's name, and the club to which they belong. Scores will only be announced for the images that have obtained the first three places in both categories, as well as the best in show. Judges will be making comments during the presentation, one judge per photo, and they will take turn. Their comments will be brief, as we have 134 photos that will be presented, but the comments from all three judges will be available to you through the RIE website at the same address you used when you uploaded your photos. And so, without further delay, I wish you a pleasant evening. Let's start the projection with the on-topic photos, Urban Life. Our first photo this evening is from Samuel Lewinstein of the RA Photo Club. It's entitled Havana Number no. 2. Okay, very urban, uh, dense, uh, beautiful colors, uh, detail, nice light, uh, as seen on the right-hand side on the buildings, uh, with, with shadows, hard light, gentlemen sitting, okay, in the light uh, by the door. Um, it, it's quite busy, uh, but there's good perspective, so the eye can travel quite well in, within the image. This uh, image is titled Survival. It's by Janice Street of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, this flower is surviving in a little crack in the sidewalk. So uh, definitely a well-spotted image. Uh, the hard midday sun is not really all that ideal for a soft and delicate subject. I find the background was a little bit soft to the point where it's almost distracting. A uh, scene like this is generally better shot when on an overcast day or during golden hour, uh, but still the idea is good and the Im image is effective. This is called the, Cadet, the Cadets at Army Run 2022. The photographer is Alex Rizakis of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Uh, this is a journalistic type image, documentary. Interesting, but very difficult light to work with. Uh, good colors, crisp detail, no problems with the composition. The breakup. The photographer is Carol Kenner of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, this image has good potential, uh, but the, the two uh, figures are not particularly closely connected. In fact, they're cropped at uh, both sides, so that there's a little bit of a disconnect here. Um, potentially a little bit more contrast uh, could open up the details, uh, but yeah, overall a good image, but uh, you know, there's, they really need to be uh, more physically connected to, to be a stronger image. That's what to regarde by Paul Choquette of the Club Polarisé. It's a nice image of the couple in this scene. There's some obvious interaction between the two, which makes for a good visual story. Uh, the backlighting makes the woman's hair stand out. The red dress draws the viewer to her. The background is busy and somewhat distracting, but the bright light washes out the detail on the wooden deck and is distracting as well. Margaritaville by Isabel Dabrowski of the RA Photo Club. This is definitely an urban shot, good exposure, uh, which allows for good rendering of the signs. And of course, when you've got a night shot like this, it's all too easy to uh, blow out a color channel. It's been well done, like the colors. There's a bit of a white spot at the bottom right uh, that really pulls our uh, eyes to that area at the bottom right corner and, and pulls our you know, the viewer to that area and cloning that out would have been an improvement here. Street in Queens, New York City by Robert Steklasa of the RA Photo Club. An excellent composition where the cropping is perfect. 
allowing the us to see the three different worlds uh, fast food market and interesting uh, coffee shop except for the man in motion on the left side the sharpness is perfect i would add that the uh, the cropping the long elongated uh, crop is suits the image very well Morocco Leather Tanning by Barbara Adams of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Uh, this is a, a nice, strong image of the Tannery Vats Morocco. Uh, very strong documentary look and feel to it. The hat gives the tannery worker a level of anonymity, and I think that works quite well here. The bright walls along the top there are uh, a little bit hot, a little bit distracting, and tend to draw the viewer to it and away from the uh, main part of the image itself. If you burn that area down and bring up the saturation or the brightness of some of those, uh, the red cloths, for instance, or the red dyes, uh, that would strengthen the image. Reading the paper is by Michelle Badu for the Camera Club of Ottawa. Excellent use of black and white, deep shadows and very nice light gray tones in the faces. Good composition. The light tone on the table on the right is a bit distracting, but it is a minor point. Winter in Ottawa, Claire LePage, the Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, this is uh, one of those images that uh, it works very well in black and white. Uh, lovely scene, lovely winter scene. Um, not a lot, you know, it's almost an argument, is this urban or not, but that fence, and we know it's Ottawa, it gives it away. That a hill, though, in the foreground is uh, fairly uninteresting, and uh, it's bright, and it really draws the eye in. So again, that uh, is uh, not 100% working. But on the other hand, the person back there also it makes uh, for a very good visual connection. So again, that uh, overall improves uh, the image. So it's a, it's a good shot. Rome by Niels Rasmussen of the Camera Club of Ottawa. The children in this image appear to be enjoying themselves very much with all the bubbles floating around them. The hard light is not ideal for photography and the scene has a lot of digital noise in it. The bright cobblestones behind the figures in the front are distracting. Having good light is a key requirement for a strong image and unfortunately you did not have it when you took this shot. However, uh, the backlight uh, made the colors more visible within the soap bubbles. Hope by Satvinder Singh of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, good black and white for a very busy street scene. Uh, we all know that black and white is often very good in street photography, and this shows why. Uh, slower shutter speed would have uh, motion blurred some of the people, except the one sitting, and that would have given the, the image more life. You know, we have a little bit of motion blur of the person on the left, but uh, just a tiny bit slower shutter speed. I think this would have been a uh, stronger image, but the, the detail is good, it's crisp, and it works. Quebec City by Tony DeLuca, Camera Club of Ottawa. Great leading lines and details in that, in that photo. Beautiful colors as well. Uh, but perfect, perhaps adjusting the brightness could help. It's a bit on the dark side. Spectacular by Abigail Gossage, the RA Photo Club. Yeah, the uh, the fireworks behind the National Gallery and the Maman sculpture make for an interesting subject uh, for this night scene. Um, it's a very busy image, and the heavy yellow color cast uh, throughout it uh, brings back memories of uh, uh, white balance issues. Uh, so. It works well, to, but uh, somehow it's something lacking to make it a bit stronger, but still it's a, it's a good shot of a well-known Ottawa area monument uh, with the fireworks there. Just Looking by Bob Young of the Camera Club of Ottawa. A good street scene, nice colors, interesting interaction between the two men and the sitting person and the indifference of the lady in the background. 
good framing proportions, there seems to be halos, some halo around the persons. Mechanic by Andrew Mostowski, the RA Photo Club. Yeah, I mean, this is a nice image of uh, some small town day to day activity, uh, good tones, uh, nice brightness. And having the man there just sort of draws your eye into that part of the image. That works very well. Uh, brightness, sharpness are excellent. And it's a strong composition. Um, again, nicely done picture. Busy City, Julie Robin Rollinson of the Camera Club of Ottawa. This is a quite interesting image, a good impact. A uh, nice backlight here. It works well for, for a city scene like this one. Um, good sharpness, good brightness, but there seems to be either processing artifact or something especially visible in the lower left hand where there's distortion in the, in the individuals. Urban Commute by John Elliott of the RA Photo Club. Yeah, this is a good, uh, nice winter shot. Uh, a lot of us have been there. Good use of colors, nice colors. And I, uh, the way the perspective has been compressed adds to the composition. Uh, the blue area at the bottom right edge, the, the bag or the backpack, uh, is a little bit distracting, though. Winterlude Entertainers by Dan Jones of the Camera Club of Ottawa. There's a pretty picture that tells a story. Uh, the photographer knew how to capture the scene. Uh, the details are good as well as the composition. Maybe crop a little on the left, uh, but the, the light on, on the children's faces especially is, is quite interesting. Canoeing from Carlton University Locks uh, by Claire LePage, the Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, I mean, this is just a lovely uh, summer scene and, you know, it makes me look forward to visiting Hartwell's Locks again in the summer on my bike. Um, but the bright light here is working against the maker. Uh, you've got some fairly deep shadows uh, and you're losing details, especially at the front of the, the house there. Uh, and you're, you're there's getting uh, lost and the bright area just draws too much uh, of the viewer's attention. Our eyes just get sucked in there and held there and it's hard to draw away and, and explore the rest of the picture. So again, pleasant image, but uh, again, you need good light to get a good, good image. The Yellow Taxi, Satvinder Singh, Camera Club of Ottawa. Now that's very, very urban. Uh, crisp detail, nice colors. The framing is very tight, but still adequate. Uh, There's good composition, beautiful colors. Late Afternoon at the Gallery by Colin Smith of the RA Photo Club. Yeah, I mean, this is just a beautiful composition. Uh, the lines and patterns and the shadows are, are, are very strong here. Uh, we've got that strong leading line that takes our eyes from the, the bottom left there and, and takes it to the person and then passed into the rest of the scene. Uh, very good brightness, very good sharpness, uh, just a very well done picture. Uh, the only question, there might be is should that have been cropped a little bit on the right because that uh, darker area at the right just pulls her eyes a little bit too much there. Disabled Street Person in Ecuador by Simon Gardner of the Camera Club of Ottawa. A very strong subject, something we often see when we travel through developing countries. Getting down low and shooting from below the subject's eye level is very effective. Uh, while shooting with a wide aperture to blur the background is a good idea. The bright sky and the person walking at the left and the white truck are all strong, distracting elements that reduce the impact of this shot. City view, optional 
by Donna Papanikolaou, RA Photo Club. Yeah, this is a, a good composition. Lots and lots of detail to, to engage the viewer. Uh, it's certainly a busy city scene. Uh, the slightly muted colors and tones uh, work very well here. Um, the the eye is drawn to the bright area and almost you almost don't see the figures walking there but regardless good interesting details nice shot red race by jim shields camera club of ottawa this is a, a blurry picture of of good activity the colors are just right there's good composition but there's motion blur um and actually, the whole picture is slightly blurred. Uh, so there's a problem there. Probably too slow a shutter speed. Taking a break by Marianne Pesky of the Orleans Photo Club. Yeah, I mean, this is a nice shot of a fox sitting there in an urban setting. Uh, the background, even though it's quite out of focus, is, you know, it, it shows you you're connecting with that urban uh, topic here. Uh, the placement of the fox in the frame is not ideal. Um, the head is a bit too close to the left-hand edge of the frame, and that gives it doesn't give him a lot of room to look at, which means the whole right side of the image is almost superfluous. Um, had the fox been, you know, a little bit further to the right, I think the image would have been stronger, and the result would have been more effective. And yeah, I can see why the maker decided to keep the body of the fox in there, but is it really necessary? Is that really a core part of the image? Probably not. Copenhagen by Niels Rasmussen, Camera Club of Ottawa. That's a, a good topic for common activity in town. Uh, the subjects are moving, but the photographer knew how to adjust his camera. Uh, things are sharp. Um, not strong colors, except for the green and the yellow that really stand out against sort of muted colors. Uh, so it's good composition, good framing, uh, interesting story. Concrete Hug by Hugh St-Pierre of the RA Photo Club. Yeah, this is a very interesting juxtaposition of the young girl and that huge giant statue. They work together very nicely, and uh, this is a you know another uh, street scene where black and white is very effective. Uh, again, lighting is a bit of an issue. You've got some very very hard shadows um, that pull uh, the uh, the attention a little bit away from the girl. Um, again, it would have been good too had the girl been you know engaged with the photo photographer looking at towards the camera. There's a fair bit of sky in this image, and it really doesn't need to be there. So taking a bit off the top uh, might be useful as well. Fun and Games, Daniel Perron of the RA Photo Club. Okay, it's a grab shot, uh, of course, but it's very, very well done. Uh, there's good use of the background to frame the two gentlemen. Uh, we can see this on left and right and bottom. Uh, there's good framing there, nice crisp detail, uh, good colors. Les Beaujeux, Good Old Days by Raymond Savard, Club Polarisé. I mean, it's definitely on topic, uh, good composition uh, for the theme. Um, the background is brighter than the foreground, and that's not quite working here. Uh, had the maker uh, spent a little bit of time uh, either burning down the background or, or dodging the, the three telephone booths, the image would have been a, a little bit more effective. San Fran, David Clow, RA Photo Club. Uh, that's an interesting image of uh, this iconic San Francisco attraction. Uh, the partial desaturation is effective. Actually, I, I would call this a selective desaturation. Um, as the surrounding scenery is downplayed and the people and cable cars stand out, the hard sunlight is not ideal for this type of photography. The sky is a lot of digital noise that should have been dealt with in post-processing. 
by way market, Reda Setki of the RA Photo Club. Yeah, this is an interesting image uh, with a good use of a low point of view where the, the photographer shooting up. Uh, that adds a bit of dynamism to the, the image. Uh, you know, the bright lights are a tad distracting, but not it still works. Um, perhaps having, you know, not excluded the, the lamp pole at the bottom, that's a bit of a tight crop on the bottom. And you've got a bit of perspective uh, distortion as well as the building seems to, you know, f uh, fold into on itself. Again, something that could have been corrected in post and that would have uh, resulted in a stronger image. Shopping New York by Donna Papanikolaou of the RA Photo Club. Here, the position of the camera is perfect. It gives us a good glimpse of the building, which makes a beautiful triangle. Uh, maybe remove some contrast and add brightness. It's, it's somewhat dark, especially on the right-hand side. Early morning by Lise Presson, RA Photo Club. Just a wonderful mood and, and setting here. The old woman with her cane just seems to perfectly fit in this uh, environment. Everything's a little bit soft, a little bit almost washed out, works very effectively. Having the dog in there is a nice touch as well. Had the woman been walking towards the camera instead of away from it, this would have made for a much stronger image. And uh, in street photography, uh, backs of people are generally not as strong as someone coming towards you. Here, yeah, Quebec at night, Jean Francois Riel of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Very good use of the blue hour, uh, creating a nice color contrast between the artificial light, uh, which is very warm, and the sky, which is deep blue. Uh, there is noise in the sky, nice detail on the pavement, on the wet pavement. Uh, the person gets a bit, a bit lost against the background. Uh, there's good composition. Walk in the Morning Light by Michelle Badu, Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, this image has some nice uh, leading lines taking, uh, you know, the, the uh, viewer's eyes into the background of the scene. Um, just the, 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 the mix of that light and shadows, that subdued light works very, very well. Maybe a little bit more brightness, uh, especially on the, the, the woman walking there. Uh, might have you know pulled the eyes a bit more there and created a more engaging uh, image. That uh, lamp that's been cut off at the top there is a, a touch distracting as well. Morning walk by Lise Presseau, RA Photo Club. Uh, this is well seen and well taken image. Uh, the person with the dog have, offer a strong counterpoint to the advertisements that are displayed on the building. Uh, the advertising posters do dominate the scene, and your subject has trouble competing with them. A uh, tighter crop where the poster on the right edge is not in the scene uh, would remove that distraction and give you a more focused composition. The column ciel Paul Choquette, Club Polarisé. Yeah, this is a nice shot of the marina and the background of the buildings and a lovely capture of the rainbow. Um, when you first look at it, you wonder, is that bird really there or was it added in post-processing? Uh, and was that really the position when the photo was taken? Other than that, good crisp details, very nice colors, very nice setting. On Tromblon Boulevard, Reda Setki, RA Photo Club. That's a lovely street scene with human activity. Uh, if we look at the sky and buildings, we realize that the contrast and saturation are too high. Uh, there's haloing also. Uh, probably the sky has been darkened in post and the uh, selection was not too, ex not too effective. Downtown Ride, Marianne Pesky. Pauline's Photo Club. Yeah, I mean, this is a very strong, very effective slow shutter panning shot. You've got the motorcycle uh, 
given a lot of room to move into on the right there, uh, which is a very effective approach. The, the background's nice and blurred and uh, generally complements the scene. A uh, little bit of a distraction, uh, especially with the car headlights uh, at the right edge. Had that been toned down a bit, uh, would have made the image uh, even more effective. But it's a very, very, very strong image. Well done. Walking in Regina by Carrie Horaimi, Camera Club of Ottawa. This is good black and white, good crisp detail and interesting composition. Uh, based on the image title, the man could be a bit larger in the photo. And uh, the, because of all the, the drawings on the wall, the man almost gets lost there. It's a little difficult to see. And also, he's, he's not entirely within the light. But other than that, it's quite an interesting picture. Dupressé, Gilbert Trutet, Club Polarisé. Yeah, I, this image uh, is quite interesting. It's certainly a different uh, type of photography from what we've seen in some of the other works. Uh, it, it almost has a painterly look and feel to it. Um, good framing, um, perhaps a little bit of adjustment uh, from, of the light from left to right. And again, comment I've made before, Backs of people are not nearly as interesting as people uh, walking towards you. And again, that would have strengthened the picture had that been taken care of. Chantier de Construction, Joan Blain, Club Polarisé. Beautiful colors and composition. Uh, the wet pavement adds a lot to this photo, but why so small? Uh, the picture could, would have scored better if it had been larger in dimension. Father and Daughter by Michelle Badu, Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, I mean, this is just a beautiful composition with that, you know, ray of light striking through the, 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 the dusty uh, uh, air there. And it, you know, just, just, just works extremely well. Just love the expressions on the, the father and the daughter and the connection between them. Um, and, you know, in spite of it being hazy and dusty, which works very well, there's still a lot of other interesting things for the viewer to see and explore in this image, which is, you know, a, a typical property of a good image. You want to give somebody uh, something to look at other than the main subject. So that's been done very, very well. Puppeteer by Julie Rollinson, Camera Club of Ottawa. That's an interesting shot of a street entertainer working with his marionette. Uh, this is an image that would likely have worked better with a vertical uh, or portrait orientation. Uh, the background is quite busy, especially the shop window with the writing on the window on the left-hand side. Eliminating that would put more emphasis on the entertainer. Havana Jam, David Clow, RA Photo Club. Yeah, I mean, this is a very nice uh, image. It works well in black and white. Um, the overall softness works just because of the, you know, the image is quite simple, and that uh, makes for a strong image. Uh, roof of the car is a tad close to the top of the edge. Uh, and, you know, either crop that out a little bit or leave a little bit of space above it and maybe open up the shadows uh, along the trunk and underneath the car a little bit uh, just to give something of interest for the viewer to explore there as well. Urban Park, New York, Donna Papanicolau, RA Photo Club. A travel souvenir photo with silhouettes in the foreground. Um, the white balance is too much on the blue. Uh, there's also chromatic aberration on the top uh, of the three portals. It would be good to check the horizon line when taking the photo. Um, there's haloing also along the top of the trees. Early morning row, David Clow, RA Photo Club. Yeah, this is a nice, strong uh, panel image uh, with the scholars in the water uh, with the city giving a good, strong backdrop. Uh, the scene's backlit, so you know everything's in silhouette, so that's quite effective. And that makes the scene uh, very, very, very dynamic. 
the bright sun and the reflection on the water is a pretty significant distraction, especially for a silhouette scene. Uh, it really pulls your viewer's eyes away from the other interesting parts of the image. Uh, and we look at it rather than uh, the rollers that uh, are the, uh, the topic here. Sales by Daniel Perron, RA Photo Club. Good colors, nice detail. Uh, the composition is nice as well. The framing is excellent in this one. And also the photo tells a story that little girl's having a good time. Uh, Untitled by Jim Shields, Camera Club of Ottawa. Uh, and this uh, was taken just at the right time of day this photo was. Uh, the details are nice and clear. Lovely shadows add to the composition. And those leading lines draw our, the viewer's eyes into the subject. Uh, the fact that we've got the man looking towards the camera uh, um, does capture our attention. The orange signs are you know, a little bit distracting. They're supposed to be, but uh, they do take away from the main part of the image a little bit. Uh, so overall, it works, but uh, is sometimes just desaturating uh, those bright areas is, is worth doing in post. Escalator by Chris Rollinson, Camera Club of Ottawa. This is a strong, effective image of an everyday theme, people riding on an escalator. Uh, by using a slow shutter speed and selective focus, the fairly scene, this fairly ordinary scene takes on a completely different dynamic. And this is what makes this image special. Uh, the man with the cane should be where the, atten where the attention goes, uh, but the woman in the white blouse ends up pulling the attention to her. This, this distraction reduces the impact of the overall image. Cleaning Windows by Beverly Dawson of the RA Photo Club. Again, another uh, scene with interesting light, interesting shadows, repeating patterns with all the vertical uh, concrete work, um, crisp detail, just a, a nice effective image. Boating in Manhattan by Robert Stiklasa, RA Photo Club. Uh, it's good framing, beautiful colors, and good lighting. Uh, the image seems a little small in, in dimensions, um, and it has a sort of a postcard look to it, which is quite interesting. And uh, the characters, there's good light on the characters in the boat there. Facing the bubbles, Andrew Mostowski, RA Photo Club. Yeah, you know, pictures with children, uh, street images like this one, where they're having fun, they're, they're always going to make for an interesting subject. You know, they're really, really engaged with those large bubbles floating around in the air. Uh, you really have two pockets uh, of children, the ones on the left, the ones on the right. And uh, uh, that is a, for a little bit of a disconnect. Uh, because both are vying for the user's attention. And, uh, you know, we, we tend to go between the two, which is a little bit distracting. Um, you know, had that been composed a little bit differently or the maker concentrated on one or the other group, both would have worked for a stronger image. Street Musicians by Isabel Dabrowski, RA Photo Club. Uh, this is a very dynamic street scene with a uh, few annoyances. Uh, there are hot spots on the musicians. Um, a foot is cut, as well as the tip of the bass guitar. Uh, there's a bit of human flesh on the lower right edge of the photo. Uh, but the drummer's smile is just priceless. Lunchtime, Caroline Andrews, Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, I mean, this is right on topic. Yeah, you know, urban life capturing spontaneous encounters of life in cities or towns. I mean, this is almost the epitome of what we're looking for here. 
uh, issues with images like this is the reflections off the glass will introduce distracting elements. And if they get too distracting, like the blue spots on the woman's face, they have a negative impact on, on the shot. Uh, sometimes a polarizing filter will help there to, to take some of that haziness out. But overall, good idea, but the, uh, it could be a little bit stronger. Livraison Rapide by Raymond Senard, Club Polarisé. Lunchtime. It's an interesting Karen and Andrews, simple Kermit view Lava of Lava this uh, street scene. The bright light, the bright sign with the writing on it uh, draws the viewer's eyes quite well. Uh, the man walking down the street on the left hand side draws it as well. So the viewer tends to get locked in uh, these two main subjects and they are competing for our attention. A single main subject generally results in a stronger image, but the leading lines are, are very, very strong here. Not seen every day. Kajo Brando, RA Photo Club. Yeah, um, this is uh, lovely colors, good composition, uh, nice travel shot. Uh, again, uh, having just gotten back from India, the scene looks awfully familiar. Um, just a, a busy scene, but the elephant is, is so unusual for us. It just uh, grabs our eyes, takes us there, and we just enjoy what's happening around them. Nice shot. Gatman Balloon Fest, Linda Busky, Orleans Photo Club. Uh, we can see a building at the bottom right, which allows us to accept this photo. In other words, it make it within the topic. Uh, good composition, beautiful, just gorgeous colors. And the human element is, is important here. And then all the lines on the balloon lead us to the people. You have nothing on me, Hughes St. Pierre, RA Photo Club. Again, uh, the repeating columns and the shadows they cast make for a very strong and effective backdrop here. Again, another image where black and white was a very good choice because it helps downplay some of that material behind the columns a little bit. Uh, a little bit unfortunate, the main subject uh, is not quite sharp. Uh, and again, he's looking out of the frame. Had he been looking the other way or into, into the frame or towards the camera, the image would have been stronger. The Crossing in Scottsdale, Arizona, Marianne Pethke, Orleans Photo Club. very good cropping here uh more sky and pavement would not add anything to this photo uh, nice detail and color good composition people are walking towards one another the people on the left are getting inside the photo people on the right get inside the photo so this this was very well done guitar store by chris taylor of the orleans photo club Again, uh, definitely a, an urban scene. We don't see, uh, you know, these in, in woodland walks or, or country scenes. Uh, very strong yellow color cast. And uh, uh, this could have been done on purpose. It may have been accidental, but it, it certainly is a little bit disruptive. Um, the, uh, the wooden post there, uh, sort of a third of the way over, almost subdivides the scene. And you wonder if uh, had the photographer cropped uh, that left part out, if the, the image would not have been a bit stronger. Coffee in Hand by Carolyn Andrews, Camera Club of Ottawa. Uh, this is an interesting image with the raindrops on the glass working well to integrate with the person outside taking their coffee for a break. Uh, the one thing that really draws my eye is the cup and the hand. The rest of the image is harder to connect to. Concept is strong, but the techniques need more refinement. Uh, there's a white line at the top, a white line of pixels uh, that shouldn't be there. Peace and Love by Raymond, Raymond Savard, Club Polarisé. Very nice colors here, very crisp detail. Uh, what's your main subject here? Um, 
the man, the street musician is far to, too far to the left and he's cropped a little bit awkwardly and the flowers are on the right. Again, we've had the same, you know, clash of multiple main subjects so that tends not to work well. Um, and the red and white flowers do attract the eye a lot more than the main uh, musician. So again, one suspects that really is what the photographer was trying for. Atlanta Evening, Isabel Dabrowski, RA Photo Club. Good composition with a nice variety of colors. Uh, there's good detail, uh, good framing as well. Uh, there's quite an interesting expression on, on the face on the, uh, the man on the left. Doesn't look too happy. Twenty twenty three Kiwani's Bed Race by Alex Rizakis, Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, I mean this is a strong and effective action shot. Uh, you, you can see the dynam dynamic uh, motion here. The bright saturated red really helps uh, engage and draw in the viewer to the shot. It's a good sharp image with the move, you know, with subjects moving towards the camera and that can be challenging so i mean that part of the shot was handled very well uh shallower depth of field to perhaps uh handle some of the busy background would have been worth considering uh because again you know the lights uh, the street signs the writing and so on the u-haul truck in the back they do draw the eye away from the main subject a little bit too much relaxing cow Ramesh Chauhan, Orleans Photo Club. That's a busy, very busy street scene. Uh, nice color, but the cow's position make it difficult to recognize it at first sight. Uh, different shooting angle might have made things better. The party is over. Carol Kenner, Camera Club of Ottawa. Again, this is a good uh, subject, works well with monochrome. Um, Got to watch your cropping a little bit. It's just a little bit too tight uh, on the right and the bottom. You know, you're cutting off pieces a little bit awkwardly. Uh, there's too much brightness right at the edge of the frame to draw the viewer out. Uh, you know, if uh, you uh, burn down the, the skin on the, the leg a little bit and, you know, uh, opened up the face a bit more, that would have been a more effective approach uh, in this image. Second floor balcony, Janice Street, Camera Club of Ottawa. It's a nice shot of his scene that's quite typical uh, of what can be seen in developing countries. Uh, the colors in this image are just wonderful. From a compositional point standpoint, that large dark object on the right is quite distracting. And like the light pole, disrupts the flow of the image. Uh, the main subject seems to be the central part of the image but it is in shadow and the bright areas around it overpower the image. I think this is a typical case of an image within an image. Uh, there's different ways to frame this. Havana number one by Samuel Lernstein of the RA Club. Again, a very good urban scene, good details, good colors. Uh, the way the men on the right and along uh, the wall are, are standing and looking at the girl tells a good story. You could argue that the crop on the right uh, is a bit tight and the crop on the bottom where the feet and legs and shoes are cut off, uh, also not ideal. Santa City by Chris Rollinson, Camera Club of Ottawa. This is an event photo with several subjects. Uh, quite interesting. The colors are good. Um, it sort of tells a story. Brussels Lovers by Scott Udall, Orleans Photo Club. Yeah, I mean, this is a nicely executed image with a good, strong composition and a good use of selective focus. The flowers hang from the lamps add a nice touch and some of the subtle uh, colors here uh, add to the image without overwhelming the shot. Um, people on the fork background add a little bit of balance to the image uh, and, and, you know, sort of counteract the, the kissing couple in the front. Uh, perhaps the men uh, on the left side of the frame and the waist receptacle are not ideal to have in a shot like this and are a bit of a distraction. 
at the War Memorial by Colin Smith of the RA Photo Club. That's an interesting subject. Composition is excellent, showing just the right amount of the monument. Nice textures. The child pointing his finger really gives life to this image. And there's good light on, on the face of the one where, where we can see the face. Cart and Horse by Tony DeLuca, Camera Club of Ottawa. Again, it's a nice theme for black and white. It simplifies it. Good approach from a street scene. Uh, crop, uh, maybe a little bit uh, uh, more to the left. And again, comments I've made before, backs of things, horses, cars, people, carriages. Not the most interesting view. Had, had the carriage been moving towards the photographer, this would have been a much stronger image. Skater by Chris Taylor, Orleans Photo Club. A strong main subject with an interesting background that complements the action. Uh, the main subject is unfortunately not sharp enough to make for a strong image. Children in the Street, Beverly Dawson, RA Photo Club. Again, another good black and white uh, image here, nice textures, good tonal range. But again, what's the subject here? You know, is the building, the background, the two kids, the, the two upside down cannons. Uh, again, uh, they, they just blend into the background too much. So again, that adds a little bit to visual confusion. You know, opening those up in post a little bit would have uh, strengthened the shot some more. Waiting for the bus, Jean Lapointe, Club Polarisé. There's good composition with the main subject well in evidence and focus. The colors are good. There's no doubt here as to what is the main subject. Uh, this one individual doesn't take much space in terms of area, but it's very, very strong against all the other supporting elements. Colors and contrast, Hugh St. Pierre, RA Photo Club. Yeah, I mean, this is interesting and striking. You know, the that modern structure on the left uh, complements the old building on the right hand side. The bright saturated colors perhaps pull the viewer's uh, attention a little bit too much from the left and, and try to pull them out of the frame. Again, uh, backs of people are not interesting, but it's not a major element here. So again, overall, uh, a pleasing image. Santiago de Cuba, Niels Rasmussen, Camera Club of Ottawa. There's good shadow detail in this backlit, backlit scene. Uh, the dark band along the right edge could be cut out. It uh, doesn't do anything for the photo. Uh, there's good colors, though. Shooting Hoops, John Elliott, RA Photo Club. Yeah, perhaps a little bit low on saturation in this shot. And, uh, you know, the frame, it, it could be a little bit looser on the left-hand side and on the top. Uh, composition is strong, and the, the graffiti and the people shooting the hoops there, they make for an interesting, uh, nice combination. The color curd maker, Cajo Brando, RA Photo Club. That's a strong street shot that shows scenes that we see when traveling through South Asia. Um, the roaring fire under the large cooking vessel sets the scene nicely. The ubiquitous cell phone is another. Uh, the people in the background are a strong part of your story. Um, it's too bad that the subject is not looking towards the camera. St. Monica Boulevard. Reda Sedki, RA Photo Club. Again, uh, definitely on topic, a nice interesting street scene, uh, lovely warm color palette, uh, composition is good, um, perhaps uh, a slightly different crop on that central palm, uh, it just draws a bit too much attention to the what, where it's crossing the top of the frame, but uh, pleasant image. Yellow Lights in the Sky by Claire LePage, Camera Club of Ottawa. 
This picture is intriguing. Uh, at first glance, we wonder what these yellow lights are. Then we realize that they are Christmas decorations. The posts for, form very beautiful lines that lead the eye to the bottom of the image. A beautiful reflection of light on the water. Brave by Jean-Marie Philippe, Club Polarisé. I mean, this is just a strong image of a, a typical Ottawa winter scene. You know, that heavy snowfall, you know, the accumulation of snow on the streets, and of course, all the people out on bicycles, even in this hazardous weather. Uh, the bright green light, uh, traffic light, is of course distracting, as well as the street sign with sparks written on it. So again, had, had that been uh, toned down a little bit or eliminated, uh, it would have focused the image a little bit more on the subject. Preparing for the day by Abigail Gossage, RA Photo Club. This beautiful light in this image, uh, very, very well exploited. Uh, crisp detail and nice textures, good colors. Uh, the photo might be a bit stronger if the first person on the left uh, was removed. Uh, this would be worth a try. Uh, the other three characters are properly uh, are, are where they belong in the photo. Theatre by Satvinder Singh, Camera Club of Ottawa. Again, this is uh, another uh, subject that does very well with black and white. It simplifies it and it doesn't, uh, you know, overwhelm the senses. Uh, the people in the foreground moving around uh, add some dynamic to the image. Again, very uh, not an easy shot. I'd like to see the uh, some of the shadows on the right opened up a little bit, but overall, uh, well done. The Chateau by Monique Lalonde, Club Polarisé. This is an iconic Ottawa fall scene taken from across the Ottawa River. Uh, fall colors along the river bank adds a nice seasonal flavor to the image. The iconic buildings and the canal set the location. This scene is just a touch dull. I mean, it, it, it lacks life. It, it could be... Uh, I don't know if it needs more crispness or saturation or contrast, but it looks a bit dull as it is. Wanna be Acrobat, 2020 Lockdown by Carol Kenner of the Camera Club of Ottawa. I mean, this is again a nice example of diagonals and lines and patterns. Uh, again, uh, hard light is not working in your favor here. The colors themselves work well. They're 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 fairly uh, even toned, and the uh, right hand uh, of the the man there just looks really awkward. Uh, and we don't notice it, uh, and, but once you look closely and notice he's handing holding a paintbrush, it explains it all. But again, uh, you know, it's it's uh, not quite bringing out the right areas there. So again, lots of potential. Needs a bit more work in post. Homeless by Abigail Gossage of the RA Photo Club. This is a beautiful monochrome image uh, with the trail that acts as a guideline. I mean, we just follow that line from bottom left to inside the photo. It does not get outside the photo, so keeps the eye within the image and leads us directly to the man who's crouching at the bottom of that wall. Old Time Drugstore by Sherry McLean, RA Photo Club. I mean, this is just the iconic old uh, time drugstore with the iconic old patron with a baseball cap. And I mean, you've got a strong visual story here. Um, had the image been not pushed as hard, uh, it would have been more effective. Uh, you know, it looks over processed and that's really not keeping with that old time look uh, all that well. You've got a very strong yellow orange color cast. It's a bit overdone. Uh, and, and unfortunately the man is sort of looking out of the image and rather into it. So it's a strong capture, but the processing is not gonna be to everyone's taste. 
Homeless Man, O'Connor Street, Ottawa, February 2023, by Simon Gardner of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Uh, this image is more a portrait than depicting urban life, although this kind of situation is, is urban. Uh, we don't see the uh, a character like this, you know, out in, in the country. Um, good detail, good colors, a bit of a perspective problem. The hands are much, much larger than the face. And there's also a halo all around the man. Overloaded by Janice Street of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, I mean, this is a busy urban uh, uh, scene. Uh, you don't see a guy on a donkey riding down the street in Ottawa. Uh, the cars give you good leading lines uh, uh, towards the, the main subject. No question about what that is. Um, but just a, a little bit busy. Uh, perhaps uh, this would work better in a monochrome just to get some of the... Uh, uh, the distractions out of the scene, but it's it's well taken and again under some challenging lighting conditions. Serenity amongst chaos. Andrew Mostowski of the RA Photo Club. This is a nice street scene that suits black and white again. The black and white is a good choice here. Uh, the simplification offered by removing the colors results in a background that is busy, but unobtrusive. Uh, unless there's a strong and compelling compositional reason to do so, shooting people from behind generally is not the strongest approach. Boy on Steps by Julie Rollinson of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Um, good exposure, very crisp. Um... It would have been nice had the, your, your subject been either entirely in, in shade or entirely uh, exposed to the sunlight. Uh, composition is, is strong. Uh, again, lighting could have been better. This is, again, a shot uh, that would have worked better for you probably on an overcast day. Rouge by Scott Udall, Orleans Photo Club. A good street scene with movement. Uh, colors and sharpness are fine. Uh, the man on the bicycle is slightly blurred, but he's he's moving. So uh, there's always a choice to be made. Either we, sorry, either we pan or we freeze the main subject. Stranger in the Night by Lison Chenier, Club Polarisé. I mean, this is an interesting night photograph, uh, and you've shot this in a mixed uh, color temperature environment. Uh, you notice the lights, some are a little bit warmer, others have a bit of a green cast to it. Uh, you've taken a, to get that small uh, aperture, to get that starburst on those lights was uh, done on purpose, uh, which forced uh, the photographer into a, a low shutter speed. And that means that person right in the center of the frame uh, is quite soft and uh, perhaps not contributing as much to the image as it needs to. Again, uh, light shots are hard to do, and uh, the strong green and yellow color casts are not going to be to everyone's taste, especially when you look at the, uh, the road or the pavement there. And that completes our urban life segment. Uh, so now we'll take a short break. Remick Rapids at Dawn by Chris Taylor of the Orleans Photo Club. Uh, we have excellent composition, tones and colors uh, in this image, uh, spectacular colors. Uh, the photography has a lot of depth. Uh, the photographer knows how to use long exposure techniques here. We see it in the sky, we see it on the water. Beautiful image. Yes, I mean, this is a, a nice minimalist approach here. Uh, just the composition of the boat silhouetted by, silhouetted by the sun. Um, the sail cuts over the horizon and connects the water and the sky together quite effectively. Strong orange color cast is not going to be to everyone's taste. And the bright sun does tend to draw a little bit more attention than it uh, should.
This is untitled by Samuel Lowenstein of the RA Photo Club. A uh, beautiful image here, superb light, nice color palette, a uh, nice texture on the snow, very well done. Try. The Untitled by Barbara Adams of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, I mean, this is just a, uh, a very nice capture here. A beautiful nature shot with uh, the, the colors, the yellows and the orange, uh, complementing each other very nicely with the greens in the background. Um, maybe the leaves are just a bit noisy there, but overall quite effective. Along the River by Lise Presso of the RA Photo Club. This is a strong and simple winter scene that features a lot of verticals, the clock tower, the trees, and the light standards. Reflections in the puddle is effective. The bridge creates a strong unifying structure that ties all the vertical lines together quite nicely. Monkey by Bob Young of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Again, a very interesting subject here with uh, the monkey, obviously with some towels around it in the wicker basket. It's uh, unfortunate that the, the eyes, which are all important, they are not sharp uh, in the face. So again, uh, this looks like a miss on focus. Hockey in the Rain by Colin Smith of the RA Photo Club. Uh, this is winter activity, very well captured, uh, almost monochrome image. It's color image, but it, it has very few colors in it. Uh, the horizon line is just above the middle, and the heads of the uh, uh, the hockey players here link the two parts of the image. Uh, the lines on the in the snow in the foreground uh, lead us to the uh, to the rink itself and make for a very interesting pattern in the snow. There's not much texture left, but those lines are really really interesting. Beautiful image. Midnight snack. By Kajo Brando. Again, this is just an outstanding shot, night shot of uh, uh, the feeding bat here. Uh, the timing is wonderful. Uh, getting the, the tongue out there, uh, the red tongue against the flower is very, very effective. Um, the texture lifts crushed shadow detail in the background is not ideal but again in this type of image uh, that's a you know a forgivable sin it's just uh, just wonderful under some very tough shooting conditions well done the Kootenays, gilbert trutet club polarise this is a very nice landscape uh, lots of depth from foreground to background um we can see some sensor spots in the sky near the mountain top. There's a that's something that needs to be cleaned up in post. Glass shard and light macro by Simon Gardner, Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, I mean beautiful, strong, saturated colors here. Uh, and uh, the background obviously is is showing through the glass, creating some interesting patterns, uh, which you know the main subjects are, are tied together that well. Overall, just a very pleasing, well done uh, image uh, here. Equilibra by Monique Lalonde, Club Polarisé. This is a nicely planned and executed still life image. Uh, the interconnected glasses are uh, very engaging and the bright textured backgrounds pull the viewer into the shot. The dark areas of the image have protected the texture details quite nicely. Iceberg at Sunset by John Elliott of the RA Photo Club. And this is a beautiful, soft, warm light taking this uh, this image. So, you know, we've got the blues uh, and the grays complementing uh, the, the light of the sky. 
that bird up there in the top left hand corner was fortuitous because again it adds something interesting to draw our attention to that part of the sky it's uh, just a very pleasant very nice image vertigo by jean lapointe le club polarisé it's a, it's a landscape image with a very different view possibly a drone a good composition and lighting sod farm fog by Anne westall of the ra photo club i mean this is a very simple image but it's a very strong image which is very effective you've got that solitary tree and that engages a viewer and invites them to explore the rest of the scene uh, you know the textures of the clouds complement the textures in the fields um, and there's trees in the background and the the fog and the just unifies everything very nicely nicely done lily of the valley by Linda Busky of the Orleans Photo Club. This is a nice shooting angle for these very tiny flowers. Uh, the large white portions of the background is a bit distracting, especially on the upper left and lower right. Um, it's a difficult subject with such shallow depth of field. Smiling Bullfrog by Carrie Harani. Camera Club of Ottawa. Yeah, I mean, this is a, 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 a lovely shot. Uh, the maker has got the eye close to the camera in absolutely sharp focus. Uh, the shallow depth of field works well here. And again, you're, you're really dealing with uh, largely yellow and blue, uh, yellows and greens. So again, uh, the limited color palette works nicely for you. Uh, lovely nature shot. Today's fisherman, Alex Rosakis, Camera Club of Ottawa. This is a pleasant scene that has an abundance of green in it. Uh, there's a huge palette of greens in this image. Uh, the jet skis and the old dogs help establish the man-made parts of this scene. Uh, the back of a person, unless there's a specific strong photographic reason for the person to be facing away from the camera, rarely ends up making a strong composition. This image would have been more effective had the person been looking towards the camera. Water Droplets by Tony DeLuca, Camera Club of Ottawa. Again, this has a lot of promise, but uh, again, you know, the judges only got to see this very small image. So please stick to the, uh, the maximum recommended when you're uploading these. Uh, the colors look like they're probably good. Uh, the patterns and the water and the droplets look interesting. Uh, but uh, again, this would have gotten a lot more points had we been uh, given a better view of what you're shooting here. Hummingbird by Bob Young, Camera Club of Ottawa. There's good tight composition uh, with the position of the subject. Very bright, beautiful colors, uh, good focus, excellent background. Um, works very, very well. The, the light spot on the on the twig there may be a bit of a distraction, but the rest of the bird is, is just perfect. Lily Pads by Dan Jones, Camera Club of Ottawa. I mean, this is a, just a beautiful image, strong and effective. Uh, you, the way the, the uh, lily pads have been arranged against the dark uh, subject, it's simple. It fills a frame very effectively. A lovely variation of colors throughout the scene. And it, it's very, very calming. And you can see the, the textures under the water showing through and they add to the overall interest of the image. Nicely done. Lone Traveler by Ramesh Jahan, Orleans Photo Club. This is a very, very nice composition. It's a simple image, but very effective. Nice soft colors because of the mist and beautiful subject. It's, it's almost timeless. Radiance by Lisanne Chenier, Club Polarisé. 
I mean, this is a strong composition, uh, superb setting, great lighting on the mushroom, and uh, it brings the image forward. Do you need quite that much background uh, there, uh, or would this have worked better uh, in a tighter crop? It's hard to say, but regardless, it's, this has been very well done. Uh, nice image. Mickey the Dog by Jean-Francois Riel, Camera Club of Ottawa. Well, this is a nice shot of Nikki, all decked out for some fun in the snow. Uh, what the maker has done well here is to get down to eye level with the subject rather than shooting from a more usual standing position. This results in a more intimate and appealing shot of the dog. Uh, the touch of snow on nose is effective. There's good depth of field here and the background has been softened nicely. The image uh, would have been a bit stronger had the subject not been quite so centered in the image. Street light with pizzazz by Robert Stiklasa, RA Photo Club. Again, another beautiful, simple composition. Lovely textures in, in the light and in the background on the wall. Um, would have been nice to have uh, a vertical horizontal line to anchor the eye a little bit better because the angles right now are kind of all over the place. Lovely variations of the light on the wall as well. Citern, par Citern, Gilbert Trouget, Club Polarisé. This image was taking a, taken at the right time of day. Beautiful shape and shades, bright colors. Uh, the color contrast here is striking between the tank and the uh, uh, the stairs, and also the, the 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 repeating pattern almost looks like a harp. Uh, the way the shadows are appear in the photo, very lovely. Um, I find that the the blue cast on the left hand side is a little bit distracting, but other than that, it's superb. Water Lily by Barbara Adams of the Camera Club of Ottawa. Again, a strong, compelling image of the water lily. The shot is quite eye-catching. Um, perhaps it's a little bit top-heavy. Uh, the visual balance is almost inverted. You've got all the weight at the top of the scene uh, and not so much at the bottom. and makes it, uh, the image looks a little bit cramped. Uh, a lot of noise in the water and the vignette around it is very heavy and uh, somewhat distracting. Uh, you've got some lack of texture in those petals, uh, which suggests uh, some clipping in, in the, uh, the blue channel there. A uh, lot of potential here, but a little bit more finesse in the post-processing would have given you a higher score. Reflection by Beverly Dawson of the RA Photo Club. This is a good subject, nice warm light, superb reflections in the water. Uh, the grass at the bottom right is very important in this image as it provides depth. We have a foreground, we have midground, we have background, and the light on the background trees is, is just gorgeous. Good composition. Chateau Laurier by Ramesh Chauhan, Orleans Photo Club. Another lovely blue hour image, you know, strongly composed. You've, you've, you've got good camera position to get the, the lit chateau and the, the locks there. Uh, perhaps a little bit high in the saturation uh, in the sky. Um, and there is a, a, a something a little bit funny happening with the, the compression here with the Weston in the background and, and the shadow in the foreground, the way they overlap. But overall, Effective, strong, strong image. Jean de Gret, Joanne Blais, Club Polarisé. This is a strong image. Um, the soft and dark foreground and background settings complement the bird. Uh, while the maker has worked hard to create a reflected image of the subject, it is somewhat distracting. Uh, much of the right hand side of the image is effectively negative space. While the positioning and amount of negative space can be largely personal opinion, there's a lot in this image, almost too much. Uh, the textures and the feathers 
of the bird is a little too soft and indistinct. So there might have been an exposure problem here. Basilica of St. Louis, Scott Udall, Orleans Photo Club. Again, uh, beautiful interior architectural image. Uh, the perspective correction has been well handled. Uh, lovely colors, lovely saturation, good crisp detail. Uh, just an overall uh, well done image. Texture of nature. Tissot, Chenier, Club Polarise. It's beautiful, beautiful textures here in this uh, photo, uh, both on the on the sand and the foreground, all the, uh, the the erosion patterns of the water, and then on the rocks. Uh, white balance is good. Excellent framing. The takeoff by Danielle Parent, RA Photo Club. Again, uh, just a very strong uh, shot of the, the owl there, uh, the, the posts and the, the barbed wire uh, give you a good uh, balance to it. A little bit of motion blur uh, in the wings uh, are good uh, to make, give this image some, some dynamics. Uh, the falling slow, snow is good. And uh, what really draw, drew my attention here is a little bit of snow that the owl is throwing up just to take off. So an extremely strong, well done image here. Reflet by Monique Lanord from Club Polarise. This, this shows a nice burst of colors and interesting shapes. Uh, unfortunately, the edges of the photo cannot be seen against the black background for on the judging screen. A uh, slim white or gray fillet around the photo would help it. Just maybe two pixel white just all around would have helped a lot. Bubble by Jean-Marie Philippe of Club Polarise. I mean, this is an interesting uh, abstract image. Um, it's works well you know it, it almost looks like a, a bit of a bird's beak or something uh good imagination uh lovely uh use of colors very subtle uh lovely flow um it works well uh as a centered image this wouldn't work well it was a little more uh asymmetric um perhaps uh, a, a little bit of opening the shadows would help uh, but overall, very pleasing, nicely done. Lily by Jean-Marie Philippe of Club Polarise. This strong painterly effect has been applied to this close-up of the stamen and pistil of the flower. Uh, this is decidedly unusual treatment for this subject, uh, but does it work well? Uh, there are not enough details and textures to create a particularly interesting image. The technique does have potential, but would it work better for a more complex subject than a painter might approach? Picard, Vossifer, Jean Amblin, Club Polarise. Nice crisp detail on the bird. Uh, background's a bit busy and distracting, and a bit of a hot spot there on the, the neck just below the eye or you're losing a bit of texture, uh, the bird has been well placed in the frame. Magical Trees by Jean-Francois Riel, Camera Club of Ottawa. This is a beautiful winter landscape with the main subject well located within the frame. Um, there's interesting patterns on the ground, but we do lose texture in places. Um, the sky is quite also uh, quite interesting, although the, the very light spots at the top touching the edge of the frame are a bit of a distraction. This could easily be worked um, and fixed in post. Sunflower by Linda Busky of the Orleans Photo Club. I mean, this is an interesting approach for flower photography. Uh, you know, the overlay has been applied, obviously, in post, and you show some potential here. 
uh, perhaps the textures are just a little bit too harsh uh, and something a little bit um, less opaque, a little more transparent, a little less blotchy would have been less distracting. Um, the delicate uh, petals in the flower just kind of mush in with the background. So again, good ideas. I think you've got a good idea here, but it needs a bit more refinement. And that completes our showing of the general category. Okay, and now we'd like to see the award-winning images. And we'll start with the urban life category. Third prize goes to Julie Rollinson of the Camera Club of Ottawa for Busy City with a score of 25. Second prize goes to Michelle Badu from the Camera Club of Ottawa for Father and Daughter with a score of 25. And the first prize goes to Marianne Pethke of the Orleans Photo Club for Downtown Ride with a score of 25.5. Moving on now to the general category. Third prize goes to Daniel Perron of the RA Photo Club for the takeoff with a score of 26. And the second prize goes to Sam. Lewenstein of the RA Photo Club, whose image was untitled, with a score of 26. And first prize goes to Dan Jones of the Camera Club of Ottawa for Lily Pads, with a score of 26.5. And the best in show goes to Carjo Brando of the RA Photo Club for his image Midnight Snack with a score of 28. Congratulations to all the winners and certificates will be mailed to all the winners shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, we've now reached the end of the presentation. I hope you've all enjoyed your evening. Thank you to all photographers who have presented photos for this year's competition. It would simply be impossible without your participation. And again, congratulations to all the winners. The topic for next year's Interclub competition is truly Canadian. The image should illustrate a feature of Canada, such as geography, wildlife, people, etc., that makes you proud to live in this country. And you'll hear more about this as the year progresses. The host for 23, 23 to 24 will be the RA Photo Club. So thanks again to our three judges and the four organizers of this event. And in particular, a special thanks to John Elliott, who ran all of the systems for the presentation night to ensure that everything works smoothly. <laughs>